Hello, and welcome to the CCNA Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. The previous lesson focused on networking models. This second lesson will deal with network topologies and Ethernet. Let us begin with the objectives of this lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify network topologies, describe the Cisco hierarchical network model, explain Ethernet technologies at layer 1 and layer 2, describe the Ethernet layer 2 frame, explain full and half duplex and CSMA CD. We will discuss network topology in the next slide. As shown in the image on the slide, Network topology deals with how devices are connected. As shown in the image on the slide, different devices in finance, IT level 1, IT level 2, and marketing are connected through a network. This is dependent on the technology available. Network topology is categorized into few types. We will be looking into them one by one in the following slides. The image on the slide depicts how each layer fits together in the network. As discussed, the hierarchical model was developed based on the characteristics of various network topologies. It has three layers, core, distribution, and access. There are two types of connections that link the devices. They are layer 2 and layer 3 connections. As depicted in the image, both these connections are present between the devices. Note the layer 3 connections end at the distribution layer. Below that, all connections are layer 2. The rest of the connections are layer 3. In the image, the router connects to a remote network. This is a layer 3 connection. Distribution and core layers are linked through layer 3 connections. The switches in both these layers are multi-layer switches or MLSs. These can do layer 3 routing and layer 2 forwarding. Let us discuss the layer requirements in the following slide. The different layers and the requirements are as follows. The core layer has high bandwidth links. It connects the distribution layer devices to each other and the centralized resources, such as database servers. The core layer consists of high-end switches. The distribution layer provides routing, packet filtering using access control lists, ACLs, and quality of service, QoS. Wide area network, WAN, access also occurs at this layer. Routers and layer 3 switches are used here. The access layer is where end devices connect to the network, usually with a switch. Let us focus on an important layer 1 and 2 technology, that is Ethernet, in the following slide. 